the Mississippi Delta. <laughs> All right, well today what I'm gonna show you guys is some basic slide stuff and I'm gonna break it down because I've always thought slide was so cool and there's some really amazing slide players out there, but guess what? Everybody's gotta start at the baseline. So what I'm gonna show you today is a couple of the basics of how to play slide. We're gonna get a close up, I'll break it down easy peasy for you and you should be on your way to the Mississippi Delta before you know it. I am going to do a, re a review on this, but I wanted to point out something to you guys. Yeah, as you can see, obviously you're not going to play slide like this. But, as you can see, we've got a traditional glass slide. We've got a, bl a brass slide. We've got the world famous Coruscant slide. Then, of course, we've got the ceramic slide. So each one of these has its own characteristics and sound. And like I said, I'm going to get into that in another video. All right, so a couple of things real quick. When you play slide guitar, the first thing you have to understand is that when you place your slide on any string in particular, you're going to get a note in front of it and you're going to get a note behind it. And if you don't back mute, which I'm going to show you how to do, if you don't back mute, it gets real noisy. There's a lot of noise going on there. What you want to do is you want to back mute. So you lay your slide down ever so carefully right over the top of the fret. And the reason you do that is because it gives you the pure tone. When you fret a note, you have to play behind the fret, right? You have to play behind the fret. But when you slide those same two notes, you got to play them directly over the top of the fret wire. Otherwise, it's horribly dissonant and out of tune, out of key, out of place. So, again, now the next thing I'm going to break down, and this is a really fast lesson on it, when you play slide, you have to look at the guitar in terms of chords. I am showing you this introductory slide lesson here in standard A440 tuning. Nothing more than that. But what you want to do is look at it, and I'm going to put this blues, a 145, E, A, and B, a 145 change, key of E. You've got to look at it like this. This is your E chord. This is your A chord or an octave, your E chord, your five chord, which is B, or the octave, A, back to E. That's the way you want to look at it. Now you notice how this finger is barring four, three, and two on the strings. Fourth string, third string, second string. Well, this is an E, obviously. Now let's make it into a slide. We have to play versus behind the fret, right over the top. And the reason that you can see I gently glide the slide back and forth is because we're hanging around, literally around the pitch. Now there's some licks, and you're going to look at it from a pentatonic perspective. as a pentatonic pentatonic position this happens to be what one two three fourth position right so now now that's a really simple lick but yet when you play it on the slide it takes on a whole different characteristic and playing slide guys is really about the subtlety of the movements. And you notice that I drift in and out of the notes. Now, one other thing on the E chord, all I did was slide into the E. But it gives it just enough of a sound where you actually go, oh, that's extremely cool. 
you know, so again, you can do it half steps, whole steps, whatever you want to do. I'm going to slide from an F into an E. And then I'll finish it up with a riff. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to pay attention to my right hand because when I'm playing slide, and that doesn't have to be for you guys, when I'm playing slide, I usually lose the pick or I palm my pick. So if I'm playing something, you know. Or like for example. You know, you're doing ZZ Top or something. Okay, so what I wanted to do is show you again on the back it out just a little bit. When I'm playing a E chord or anything, I like to use my thumb to play the lick. You know, and in this case it's really simple, right? And I use that, I use my thumb on the bass note, and I am using the index finger to mute the other notes. See, because with slide, if you don't mute things, it gets really noisy. That sounds really sloppy in my world. So you keep it down, so watch my right hand here. I'm playing the E on the third string, but I am muting the B string. And when I land on that E, I catch that B. Something to practice. You gotta really get into it and practice it a lot. It's, it's back muting. Whatever note you're playing, you mute the opposite strings, either above or below the note. Also with slide, don't let the slide hang all over the guitar because whatever it touches, it makes noise. So here, and again I vibrato in and out of the note directly over the fret. So that's basically it. Key of E. There's just some basic riffs, so whatever you do pentatonic, and again, I'm using that riff. Now I, and I can drop that in there. Okay, and when we go to the four chord, right, our A, hit those basic A riffs. Back to our one. We go to our five chord, which is our B. So that wraps up that little quickie. Uh, again, guys, always do something good for somebody else. There's way too much anger in the world these days. We're musicians, we're artists. Spread that joy out to other people. It will not only make you feel good, but it will make others feel good as well. I did want to mention also, if there is any questions or any commentary, obviously keep it nice. Nobody cares about rude, mean people. Nobody does. Make a difference. You'll feel better. The thing I wanted to mention is that if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach out in the, in the comment sections, and I'll do my very best to answer them. I want you guys to get good, really. Um, and that's about it. You guys have a groovy, there's that word again, groovy, groovy, groovy. That's a good word. That's a groovy word.
And always remember to put this lick into all your songs. Yeah. <laughs>